Hello, Xonia kids. This is Mr. Butts, and um, I'm here. Um, I'm gonna explain your first virtual art lesson. Okay, so this one um, is all gonna be on Seesaw. So you'll get a PDF with this document here. Okay, not this document, but you'll have a, a document um, on Seesaw, and then you also have this video is gonna be up there too. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you on here. Okay, I don't have a printout, so I'm gonna show you on my um, on my iPad. Okay, so um, what you'll need for this project, okay, you'll need um, watercolors. Okay, if you don't have watercolors, it's fine. You can still do this with. Um, I would probably suggest maybe colored pencils or. Um, oil pastels or something like that, okay? I think it'll be really nice. But if you do have watercolors, I kind of su suggest getting these, um, which are praying. These are the inexpensive ones that just have um, one row of colors in there, and it comes with the brush, okay? And then you also need water, okay? Just like the projects we did with um, the, um, the Greek architecture that we just finished for the fourth graders, um, you know, the same materials for that. And then watercolor paper. So if you don't have watercolor paper, you can use other paper, but just make sure that it's like heavier, um, heavier, heavier paper, okay? So it can um, withstand like the water and all that stuff. All right, so to get started here, um, first it, we're doing a project that was inspired by the artist, his name is Henry Rousseau, he's a French artist. Um, in Paris, okay, and he was he was a toll booth booth operator, okay, and um, I'll show you one of his paintings here, okay, and he was self-taught artist, which wasn't always like accepted because like there's these um, established art um, museums called salons, and that that was kind of like how you had to you had to go through the salon to show paintings and stuff like that. So he persevered and he painted a lot. He wasn't until older um, that he got into art, okay? But he loved painting. He loved painting um, like the jungle animals, okay? So what we're gonna do today in botanical gardens and Paris and, and all that, okay? So he liked nature. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a toucan, a toucan painting, okay, and a drawing. First we're going to draw it, and then we're going to paint it, okay? And in the PDF you'll have different resources, so there's like a pa couple pages of what toucans look like, and you can use this as a guide, okay? There's all different sizes of birds, um, and then there's also, um, you know, there's two of these pages, and then there's also a how-to, okay? So if you want to do the how-to page on how to how to draw your toucans. The first week is gonna be drawing your toucan and then the second week is gonna be um, it's gonna be painting, okay? Painting, coloring, or whatever. So uh, so this week you just have to worry about drawing, okay? And here's, a, here's some examples of other fourth graders that have done this, okay? So, um, so let's get started, okay? So, um, first off, I'm just going to take you through, um, I'm going to show you a couple techniques, okay? So some of you guys like to draw, and I would start, um, definitely start with a pencil. So you need a pencil and eraser, okay? <clears throat> and I'm just going to show you here, you have like the step-by-step, -step, um, but I'm going to show you how to like, you know, to sketch, to sketch a, a bird. Okay, so if you do like really lightly to start off with, you do like the body and then the tail, okay, and then the head. And you want to do this real light so, um, so you can erase it if you need, be, if you need to, okay. And then the eye over here, you got a wing. All 
All right, so um, so I know this is a little advanced, but I'm just going to show you a different technique, a sketching technique, because um, I know I, I do a lot of like step-by-step -step drawings, and you can you can do that too. Okay, and then we're going to do a big leaf. I believe like this. Okay, see how this shape, how it's shaped? And then the middle of the leaf kind of goes in the same direction um, as the as the leaf over here. Okay. Alright. Alright, and then here put some more details in here. And then we have the back of the bird's head. Okay. Okay, so once you get it sketched out, then you can kind of just uh, refine some of your lines. Over here, his head's like kind of facing backwards. Put the tail feathers in there. And then, um, and generally, you can keep this as a regular pencil drawing or you can go over it with oil pastels. I think for now, I might just leave mine as a pencil drawing. like that and then you have the feet and the feet and I have separate different examples so if you guys have a hard time uh, making it like like this you can just you know you can draw you can copy one of the ones in there you can draw from the photo or some of the other examples Okay, I'm going to do this leaf here, it has these things. Okay, see how I'm like drawing lightly and then I'm putting in details later? That's like the best way of doing it there. Okay. And then the last one's his beak. Alright, and then what you can do, all the lines in the middle, sketchy lines, you can just erase, you know. But I mean, I want you guys to really practice um, drawing lightly, okay? Drawing lightly, and, um, and that sort of thing. I think I'm going to make his, his, this one's a little longer here. Over here. Alright, so just kind of do a line drawing for this week, and then next week we'll work on coloring and all that. If you want to outline it, you can. Um, you can even outline it with like an, a permanent marker or a pen or like a fine sharpie or something like that. Because um, once you watercolor over it, that won't bleed or anything like that. Alright, I um, hope you guys are having fun um, enjoying your online virtual school. And, um, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, bye.